One of the features in Synthize 2011 is a projection screen generator. And that projection screen system is particularly useful when we're working with green screen shots, as we are here, where we just have a simple example green screen shot. So let's start up Synthize's green screen handling system, which is designed to identify the, you know, the screen part of the shot, and generally that's used to put uh, auto trackers only into the screen region to make handling green screen shots easier. But here we can use it with a projection system, uh, projection screen system as well. So let's go take a look at the perspective uh, view. And if we look through the camera, you know, we see the backdrop image. But if we're not looking exactly through the camera, so we can move around in the 3D environment as a whole, normally that uh, projection screen, or you know, that, that background imagery wouldn't get seen at all. So sometimes that can be helpful in uh, setting up shots. So let's, let's do that now. And here we're going to fire up the projection screen creator. And it has a whole bunch of different options. And for starters, let's just put the screen out there. And now you see that we have something out there. Um, it's actual geometry that's sitting in the scene. We could actually select and rotate it around a bit and so on. Well, what we can do, let's bring the projection screen creator back again. Now we're just going to tell it that we want to have it drop out the screened out parts. So now we can see through most of the image. And the advantage of being able to do that is so that we can start assembling stack ups of you know, whatever we want to put in the scene and get a better handle on exactly what we're doing without the effect of, uh, of the, the screen portion of the shot uh, being a factor. So, you know, we can look through and see stuff. If we go back and we look literally through the camera exactly, right now we're seeing the effect of the normal background image, but we can just tell it that we don't want to display the, the normal background image. And so now we're seeing actually just the projection screen, which has been masked out, as well as whatever is all behind it. So this lets us take a look at the stack up without having that entire rest of the image that's just all green or blue or whatever, you know, get in the way. So it's a nice way to take a look at that. The uh, screen creator does have options also to be able to distort the image by distorting that grid, the, the projection scre screen geometry, so that you can account for the effect of distortion and see basically the undistorted view generated on the fly on the projection screen. So there are a bunch of interesting capabilities with this. They can be used uh, nicely for stereo and other lineup sorts of things as well. Thanks.